Okay, so I just set up this campaign for my cleaning client, and so far we've spent $6 and we got two leads for $3 each. So I just want to quickly show you guys how I set up this campaign and how you guys can do the same thing to get leads just like this without having to waste time on proving different creatives. I'll just give you everything I'm doing right now to get the same result. So um, I'm not going to bore you with the slideshow, but this is just going to be a short presentation on how to run ads on Facebook for cleaning service businesses. So it's really starting in like three ways, right? There's three sections to this. There's the actual Facebook ad, there's the Facebook lead form, and then we redirect them to a calendar or to a live agent once they go through that. So this is what it actually looks like, and I'm gonna take you through the actual campaign too. I'm not just gonna show you screenshots, but again, you can see the Facebook ad here. I'm gonna show you the actual video. And then we take them to a lead form with high intent, and I know a lot of people hate the lead forms. I totally understand that, but the reason why I still use the lead form is because there's certain things that you can do within the lead form to get a higher quality lead. Because if you've ever tried to do just you know a default Facebook lead form, you know they suck. And I totally respect that. But let me show you what I'm doing first. And then the last thing is at the end, you're going to redirect them to a calendar or live agent. So at the bottom of the form, you can see call to access discount now. Or you could put, you know, schedule a call with our team here and it would redirect to a calendar. So those are the two options. But uh, let's go through it. I want to start with the Facebook ad. Uh, there's a couple things we need to know uh, before we actually dive into the ad because so many people think that they need a really good creative in order to get good results. That's actually not the case. It's it's more in the offer, right? So you guys are probably wondering, okay, well then how do we make a good ad? Well, it's the offer. So here's two secrets that you guys need to know when you're running ads. So the first secret is that your customers are not buying your ads. They're buying your offers. And the second secret is you don't need to devalue your service in order to have an offer because a lot of people are like, Dan, I don't want to have an offer. Like, you know, I, I don't want to devalue myself. You don't have to. You don't have to devalue yourself in order to have an offer. You just needed a way to uniquely sell the service that you have because let's be honest, there's so many different businesses that do the same things, but who's standing out from who, right? What ways are they uniquely wrapping their service into an offer? And let me show you a good example of this. So I actually saw an offer that was an unlimited cleaning subscription. Essentially, uh, the business was doing a $10 per month subscription and then moving forward, every single job that they schedule per month is $200 flat you know, for up to like, let's just say up to five rooms. So if you have five rooms or less and you want the unlimited cleaning subscription, it's just $10 per month and then $2 flat every single time they go to the job. So this is a really good offer to have like, you know, monthly revenue coming in, but also like consistent jobs because you know, you're going to have multiple every single month, especially with something like this. So every single client I work with, I one-on-one -on -one get on a call and I help them create an offer like this. That's going to help them first of all, stand out, but also control the quality of their service, right? because we're going to create something maybe some, somebody's never heard of like this. Like it's not really a common offer, but again, these are things that we do to stand out and also increase the value, the perceived value of our service. So let's actually jump into that. I'm going to show you guys how we did the ad. Um, I actually use chat GPT. So don't, you know, just bear with me, but look at the prompt. I said, write a TikTok ad voiceover script for a cleaning service in Chicago. That is 20% off for the next 11 homeowners who schedule a cleaning. Make each line for a 10 second clip. I don't know. That's just the prop that I came up with and actually did very well. So you can see um, it gives me each line like this. Hey, there um, is your home looking like a total mess. Don't stress. We got you covered, right? You can see that. So I didn't put every single one of these in there just because I don't want to make it too long. Although I do think if I added a couple more in there, it would maybe increase conversions. I'm not sure. I just wanted to make it as punchy as possible. So I took a couple things out, but let me show you right now. I'll take you through it. So once I got the prompt from ChatGPT. I went into Pictory. So this is an app. It's called uh, Pictory. And essentially, you can give it a script and it will spit out a video. So I'm actually going to demonstrate that now. I'm going to click proceed. I'm going to go to ChatGPT. And I'm just going to highlight every single one of these clips that it already generated. And then I'll paste them in here. Now, you do need to get rid of like, you know, the little clip parts. But, you know, I'm just going to show you guys me doing it so you can see exactly what I mean. Okay, so once you have everything in there, we'll just name it uh, Generic Cleaning. We'll just do that. And we'll put actually Las Vegas, because that's where I'm from. And then we'll click Proceed. From here, you can select a style. Um, it honestly is totally up to your preference, or you know, as long as it just is minimal and it gets the point across, it's really all we're looking for. So I'll show you kind of the ones that I like to use. And you know, again, you can use whichever ones you like to. So I like to use Remote. You know, it's very subtle. It's very easy to read. Same thing with Black and White. Um, you can use that one. What else? Let's see. Flashlight in some cases too. Let's just go to the top though and we'll just pick remote for now. 
And in my case, I'm going to put it for TikTok. You can also use it for Reels or Stories on Facebook and also make it work on the feed, which I'll show you how we did that as well. But just for the sake of showing you how Pick3 works, we'll do this. So it's going to load up here. And then uh, in 30 seconds, I will start the video again. Okay, so once it's done loading, you can see it actually has like a, a generic video here, just something that it's already done by itself. So, for example, if you wanted to change, you know, a visual on the scene, you would click on whichever scene, or which is, you know, separated by each line. You can click visuals, and then just pick whatever you want it to be, you know. So if you want to change it, you can do that. Same thing with audio. It's going to give you, you know, its own applied track. You can also do a voiceover. Um, you can also upload your own voiceovers if you don't want to use any of the AI. So for ours, we're just going to apply this one. And then uh, you can see we have pretty much a full video now. Um, and if you need to tweak it, again, it's very simple to do. Um, and you can see, so this is the one that we actually did. The only difference is that I don't use any stock images. What I'll do is I'll, I'll actually go to uh, places like Unsplash. Sometimes I'll also go to TikTok itself and I'll find UGC content, like very good content that already exists out there. It looks better than the stock images. And I'll just put it over a regular AI voice and that's it. As long as my offer is good and the video looks very good and high quality, which is why I like to use TikTok and Unsplash. Um, you know, you'll have a good click-through rate. People will engage and watch that video. So that's pretty much how we did this video. And I'll just play it on the screen right here for you guys as well now. Here we go. Hi, Chicago area. Is your home looking like a total mess? Don't stress. We've got you covered with the best cleaning service in town. We're offering an exclusive 20% off service for the next 11 homeowners who schedule a cleaning. Imagine coming home to this every single day. But you gotta hurry, since this offer won't last for long. Click the button right now to claim your discount. So that's it. That's that's the entire ad right there. If you guys want to copy it, please do that. Um, I also pretty much do the same thing in other niches. I have videos for contractors and stuff like that. We use the same process because it's proven and it works and it gets very high quality leads. Um, so the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is the Facebook lead form. Now, again, a lot of people don't like to use this. Sometimes they like to go directly to, the, to their own website to collect the lead data. Either way is fine. You can do it your own way. I like to use Facebook because people just convert higher, um, in my opinion, and at least the results that I've personally had. So that's why I do it this way. There's so many different ways to run ads. I'm not saying this isn't the best. This is the way that I do it, and that gets really good results for me. So let's actually dive into the campaign itself, though, so you guys can take a, a deeper look into that. So I just literally started running these ads um, literally a couple hours ago. So you can see we barely spent any money, and we're at $3 leads. But let's just refresh it really quick so we can see, like, where we're at now. Okay, it's all still about the same. It is pretty late at night though, so it's probably going to start spinning again tomorrow. So I already showed you guys, you know, the creative. The only difference that I do, um, you know, on the lead form is ask custom questions. So I'll take you through each one. And then actually as a bonus, I, would, I do want to show you guys how I did that targeting. So I'll show you at the end for that too. But let's look at the actual form on the creative. So this is the form at the bottom. So see if you qualify in 30 seconds or less. Our new offer is only for the next 11 people who qualify for the service. So a couple things I want to talk to you guys, right? Uh, after they go through the ad, they click on the ad, they're going to go to your form, right? And so now we have to really worry about the experience that they're going to have on the other side of the click. So the first secret is to make your service seem exclusive to increase the perceived value. And I'll show you how we did that. And the second secret is the expectations you set with leads will determine how leads respond to you. Um, and I'll show you again how we did that too. It's, it's easier explained just by showing you. So again, you can see we have like a little mini survey, see if you qualify in 30 seconds or less. So do you currently own a rent? And then what is the service address? So they literally have to physically type in whatever address they have. That's not automatically filled in because a lot of people hate the Facebook lead form because it's automatically filled in. No, this one's not. They have to actually type that in. So now you know it is actually high intent, but you're also saying, hey, I need the service address to see if you qualify. So now there's actually a reason and they're, not, you know, they're less skeptical and they would actually enter that information. All other than that, the only thing I ask is a full name, phone number, and zip code. That's it. At the end, once they submit, you can see right here, congrats, you're qualified. We make them feel like, oh, I'm special. I'm one of the next 11 homeowners that's going to take advantage of this. Congrats, you're qualified. And then we tell them, wait, you're almost done. We're about to text you with access to the discount and next steps. Schedule a call with our team now and get access to the discount. So this is where you can either put a link to a calendar or just have them call into the business directly. In our case, we're having them call in. Nothing wrong with just booking into a calendar. Either way is fine. But 
we're also setting the expectation that we're about to text them because a lot of people won't respond to that first text. Maybe you've had that same experience, but now that they actually have a feeling like, wait, I'm qualified, there's something I actually need to talk to somebody about, now they're more likely to respond because they feel like they have to to take advantage of the discount. That's the whole reason why they clicked and submitted their information. So that's how we do that. And then as far as targeting, you can see literally what I'm targeting right here. So each one of these ad sets is spending $12 a day, right? Because my max budget is 50 bucks a day. So I just did this to start. This one is absolutely no targeting. It's just 30 and above, 30 plus for age, all genders, English speaking. And then we turn on um, the advanced detail targeting. But that's it. There's no other interest. That's it. The next one, it's just this one interest, no detail targeting, make sure this is off. Cleanliness we're gonna test and also cleaning, just like suggestions of, uh, and if you wanna see more or spend more, you can always click suggestions and see, okay, for me, what would make sense? Okay, do any of these apply to me? And you can create more you know, ad sets depending on what your daily budget is. So that's literally how we're running these ads. So far, so good. You know, $3 leads, can't complain. Usually, you know, cleaning leads are a little bit cheaper. I don't know how expensive yours are, but you know, I'm curious to see overall in the next 30 days how the intent on these leads are. So if you guys want to do this for yourself, but you don't want to set it up, just schedule a call with me below. Otherwise, leave a comment. It's my birthday. If you watched this far, just drop a comment. Happy birthday, Dan. Thanks for the free vid. That's all I really ask. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell because it's free and it really helps me. I'll see you guys when I see you guys.